engineered here at Derby, the center of the aero engine division. Spay's low pressure compressor is driven by a two-stage LP turbine and the high pressure compressor by a two-stage HP turbine. Bypass ratio is approximately one. The military variants can be fitted with an afterburner for thrust boost. Modest stage loading and blade tip speeds of the compressors ensure smooth and rapid engine handling. Refinements to the combustion liners ensure long life and the fuel manifold is outside the bypass duct for easy servicing. Turbine blades are forged and first stage high pressure blades are air cooled. Main bearings are cooled by low pressure air. Flexibly mounted turbine bearings produce an exceptionally smooth engine. Systems have been designed to make them reliable and inexpensive to maintain. Good access to external and internal components means easy maintenance and overhaul. The Rolls-Royce air-cooled turbine blades were the first in airline service. Over 11 million hours experience gives maximum reliability, longer blade life, increased engine power and low operating costs. Noise levels have been reduced by compressor design and because the Spey is a turbofan derived immediately from the Conway, the first of the fan jets, the engine that has led the development of modern commercial jet engines. The Conway is now the most powerful and reliable jet engine in airline service and with time between overhauls in excess of 10,000 hours, pioneered on condition maintenance. From this experience came the Spey which promoted a program of experimental manufacture and testing geared to spay requirements. A large proportion of the company's research, design and development effort was concentrated on the spay program. Today, the company employs 70,000 on aero engine activities, of which a quarter are engaged on research, design and development. Behind the spay's development program is the continuous research into materials. Many of the metal alloys in today's jet engines were first developed in the Rolls-Royce laboratories. Photoelastic stress analysis techniques have been developed to a very advanced stage, so that operational loading effects upon spay components, such as turbine blade roots, can be examined. Metal fatigue is investigated to achieve long component life. The quality and reliability of Spay's components were proved by testing, which rapidly built up the equivalent of many thousands of hours in service. Compressor assemblies tested in spinning rigs were subjected to treatment far beyond anything to be expected in operation. Structures such as engine casings were tested to ensure integrity and long life. A full understanding of air intakes is necessary to match the engine and the intake efficiency. Some of the knowledge derived from supersonic intake testing is built into civil spay intakes. The aerodynamics of the combustion liner were tested in a transparent model using air bubbles in water to show the flow pattern. Combustion liners coated with temperature sensitive paints were tested at operational temperatures and pressures, then photographed to help engineers in their development work. Finally, the Spey went to the company's altitude test plant where its performance was measured under flight operating conditions. Thorough testing requires a multiplicity of test points and wiring. Engine test staff reproduce flight conditions. Hundreds of parameters are instantly recorded, fed directly into a computer which immediately processes the information, reporting back its findings to the control room. First condition of 
All new engines before entering service are evaluated here. With two altitude test cells and a compressor test rig, the facility can be operated on a 24-hour basis. computer control production techniques are used in manufacture. Turbine discs are relatively light in weight. Accurate machining assures consistency, leading to reliability. Turbine blades are the product of a series of precise forging operations. Extremely accurate balancing of all rotating parts is essential to prevent vibration. Behind the spay, ensuring long life for its components, are the years of experience with the Tyne turboprop and the Conway turbofan, which have spent many millions of hours cruising at combustion temperatures similar to those of the Sybil spay. Fitted with a